Anyway, what'd that news be doing? We're gonna go to Columbus, where the police chief is making a plea for a, suspic a suspected kidnapper to return a five-month-old. Apparently, two children's children's were kidnapped. One has been found and returned. Another one still missing, and they are uh, on the lookout for a suspect. Get the deets. Kevin Landers was there when police addressed the media, and he also spoke with the child's grandmother and father. Now, he's live at Columbus headquarters now with their plea for help. Kevin? Stop being a Kevin. The, the family says it has no idea why the suspect would steal a car with two children inside. The family is just praying that five-month-old Quezon is found safe. Police believe he is in danger. Somewhere, a five-month-old is without his mother, his twin brother now safe with his father. He was found outside. She says my baby for dead. Oh, God. <laughs> outside in the cold. Yes, sir. <laughs> five-month-old Quezon Thomas Why is... Why are you dumping one kid found. and not the other, Police though? He and his brother were abducted inside a running car while their mother ran in to get a DoorDash order from this Donato's in the short north. Police say Nala Jackson, a homeless woman from Columbus, is the suspect. We spoke to the father as he was driving around Columbus looking for his other son. Do you know anything about her? Uh, no, I have no clue who she is. He says his other son was found by police outside the Dayton airport. Did they say how long he'd been outside? They say it was about 10 minutes, no longer than 10 minutes. The family says it's furious with police for waiting hours before sending out a statewide Amber Alert. Police and OHP say they needed to make sure it met the criteria, and there was confusion over the make and model of the car that was stolen. Columbus police refused to put out an Amber Alert as many times as we asked. We didn't get one until almost three to four hours after they were missing. <laughs> this lady has so much time on them right now. I don't know where my baby and is. And she went to the airport? Delay. Obviously, I think that in, in a perfect world, we would love to have had it out a little bit earlier but that our officers uh, did the best they could dealing with the chaotic scene. Even the chief of police said she had no idea of the abduction until the next day, blaming it on a lack of communication. There was a lapse in communication. Um, had wait, I wait, this didn't happen today? Yes, this just keeps getting worse. My God. Because I saw, I saw the story earlier today and assumed there was a manhunt underway today. But apparently this happened yesterday. Admit there was a delay. And obviously, I think that in, in a perfect world, we would love to have had it out a little bit earlier, but that our officers uh, did the best they could dealing with the chaotic scene. Even the chief of police said she had no idea of the abduction until the next day, blaming it on a lack of communication. There was a lapse in communication. Um, had I known, we would have had the press conference last night <laughs> or early this morning um and that's just the reality i'm not gonna hide it i'm not gonna sugarcoat it um but that doesn't mean that the team wasn't doing the work and like it is of the utmost importance to to there's been a kidnapping to get it out as quickly as possible god damn <laughs> Now, police say the last known sighting of Jackson was in Huber Heights near Dayton. Uh, they believe it's, they're not sure if she is still there or if she's driving the same car where she abducted this child from. Now, police are pleading with Jackson to drop off this child anywhere safe with no questions asked. Reporting live outside police. Keep the car. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Kevin, thank you. Let's head to. Drop off the kid. Here the moment one of the infant boys was found. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills continues our team coverage tonight. Police from Columbus and Dayton. I just don't. Okay, you. you Drop one of the kids off. Why not the other one as well? What you're like, oh, well, I'm keeping this one. This one's cute. What? Here at Dayton International Airport today, looking for evidence in the economy lot where little Kyer was left alone in the bitter cold. He was found seven hours after the car he was buckled in was stolen from the Donatos in the short north. A traveler parking here to head out made the shocking discovery and called 911 immediately. Calling from the economy lot at Dayton International Airport. And we okay. discovered a baby in a baby carriage in the parking lot. 
Kair's twin, Kaysan, is believed to be in danger and authorities are urging anyone with information to call police. Columbus police say there may have been one sighting in the Dayton area before the child was left here. Columbus police are reviewing video surveillance from the airport. At Dayton International Airport, Lindsay Mills. And maybe one was screaming and she's like, well, let's get rid of this one. In this case, Nolly Jackson, Chief Bryant indicated that Jackson has a criminal history which we followed up and looked up. Jackson has a current case in municipal court for aggravated menacing and telecommunications harassment. We don't know if it's linked to today's events. She also has a child endangering charge from 2021. We found other cases involving Jackson dating back to 1998. So what is required for an Amber Alert to be sent? I, I should laugh at that, Highway Marks. Patrol is the agency in charge of putting out Amber Alerts. The Department of Public Safety shared the criteria with us today. It includes the missing child is under the age of 18. Law enforcement believes the abduct abduction puts the child in immediate danger. And there is enough information to believe the alert will help find the child. I believe all of those criteria were met. Oh yeah, absolutely. Arm the kid. If the if the if the if the babies had been armed, this wouldn't have happened. They couldn't have got carjacked if they were packing. Come the fuck on. Arm the babies. A good baby with a gun. The only way to stop a bad guy a carjacking is a good baby with a gun. Have you heard the freaking news? YouTube, Facebook, and all of big tech are trying to do a cancel culture on Justin Freakin'. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Help the channel stay alive and grow by subscribing or following, and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the fun, even when one platform tries to shut us up. He's kicking authority in the balls. If you have it to spare and really want to show support, consider subbing on Twitch, becoming a patron, or a member on YouTube. You'll get access to extra delights and debauchery, and you'll have my eternal appreciation. Thank you for being a freaking follower, and have a great freaking day.